Um, you're going to have a good laugh at my expense uh, here in just a moment because I'm going to show you really? something <laughs> that I did that was dumb. <laughs> What's shaking bacon? I'm Joni Simon. Welcome to my studio. This is where I do food photography and the goal here is to improve your food photography skills so you can feel confident behind the camera. And this is part three of a three part series all about drinks photography and diving deeper into the stories of people who specialize in this arena. And so in the prior two videos, if you missed those videos, you can find those linked down below. But in both of those interviews, both Terry Campbell and Stuart Anderson, they said they love working with fake ice, but it's gotta be the good stuff, right? And the good stuff is trying go of ice. And I thought, you know, who's the person behind this? Like who makes this stuff? How did this come to be? Why is this the go-to stuff? And so Turns out the man behind the ice, the ice man, is Tom Trengove, based in New York City. And so I got Tom on the phone, not only just to understand how did this all come to be, but also what are some of his other products? Because it's more than just cubes. And likely if you get into the world of drinks photography, you might need some of these different products. And so with no further ado, let's chat with Tom. It was about a year ago and I, was getting ready for a shoot with a, with a client and I knew there'd be some whiskey drinks in the photos. And I thought it'd be really nice to get like one big cube, which is something you do, right, Tom? Those nice larger cubes. Uh -huh. And well, I, I was ordering a little too quickly and wasn't really paying attention. And, and this, this is what showed up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what I have to know, Tom, is what, who's using ice cubes this large? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I had to wonder. People with big glasses, I guess. I suppose. If there's anybody out there who has a good uh, suggestion for me as to what I should do with this, because uh, it's absolutely stunning, but it's entirely too large to fit in any standard you glass. You could have uh, exchanged it for some, some other... Uh other products. That's a good point. That's a good point. Well, and so speaking of your products, I mean, whenever I talk to people about uh, fake ice in this world of drinks photography, inevitably your name and your products come up, Trend Grove Ice. So uh -huh. I'm just curious, uh, how did how did you get started in this? What was the story? Because you're sort of, you, you've become the gold standard in the industry. For ice. I used to make furniture many years ago in, in acrylic which is the same material. Mm. So it was a kind of a slow uh, move over to doing props. Because I had I gotten requests to do some props for uh, TV and uh, I just moved over to that area. As of right now, I mean, you exclusively sell through the set shop, correct? correct. Yes. So as far as from the standpoint of your products, um, you know, I, for me, I own the shards. I have a good collection of cubes at this point, including that very large cube, but also some regular standard cubes. But could you walk us through, um, for anybody who's not familiar with your products, what are the different kinds of products that we can encounter in their uses? Uh, sure, there's, there's a, another type of ice. It's uh, made of a, a synthetic rubber. Hmm. Uh, it's very, very clear and you can uh, break it up and make shards out of that. So that floats. So that's, that's, that was the reason for developing that product. Gotcha. Because so the photographers came to you and said, we really need something that floats, something that looks like yeah, this. This, and able this to is a, not as big a, a request because uh, you know, they move around a bit. Oh. So uh, photographers like everything to be fixed. You know, and if it's floating, it's, uh, it's controllable, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, what's the crystal powder? There's the crystal ice in the crystal ice. Mm -hmm. um, that is a, uh, what you'd call a super absorbent polymer, but uh, you add water to it and it uh, absorbs the water and becomes clear. And uh, it's like a gel when it's finished. There's also a product called ice powder, which is more of a granular product. And that's for like a frozen drink. Or else, gotcha. Like your slushies and things like that. Yes, and it also is a nice um, product to put on that's outside of uh, bottles and glasses. <laughs> so this collection of products has definitely grown over the years. What was, where did, what was the very first product? Well, be, besides the ice cubes? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. It, it, could have been the, uh, it could have been the ice powder. Okay. Years ago, yeah. 
And how long have you been doing this? Hmm. Since about 1985. Nice. So that's how you become you. That's how you become a gold standard in the industry is you go, do it a good, a good long time. <laughs> we keep, keep adding products, you know, over the years. How exciting is it for you when, uh, when an artist, you know, a photographer takes your products and it creates a memorable image f with that? Is, how does that feel for you? Well, it's, a, it's a nice feeling. Although, yeah. although because I don't deal with uh, uh, end users directly anymore, uh, I, don't, I don't get to uh, see the end product. Well, although I do see it you know, in ads, you know, uh, in magazines and in subways. We, well, we need to start using, I guess, on Instagram, having folks use hashtag Trendgrove and so we can see, <laughs> <laughs> see all of the beautiful ice that you've created for so many of us to enjoy. So for somebody who's, uh, you know, looking to do kind of just a standard cocktail photo, they're looking for some really nice ice, uh, what would be your suggestion is like a really great um, place to start? You know, I guess it depends on what they're trying to create, but what What's a, a good entry level product for you? Well, the the standard ice cubes, the square squarish ones. Yeah, like the like these little guys. Yeah, yeah. There's something about the quality of this that is very convincing, and I I don't I mean obviously I'm not looking for your trade secrets, Tom, but um, you know the. There's something, is it the shape? Is it the clarity? Like what, what is it that makes this so unique and special? Well, it's, it's, it's interesting because uh, not everybody who, who tries to make them makes them this quite the same. Mm. You know, so I have, a, I have an assistant that makes them now who's very good and uh, he does a good job. But they're each sort of unique in their own right, right? Well, they're, yes, they are. Within, within certain parameters, they're, they're kind of all the same, but they're actually all different. Yeah. Which adds to that authenticity factor because yeah. that's, that's the way real ice is. Yeah, they're made individually, sure, by hand. And the mm -hmm. same with the shards? Uh, yes. Nice. Yeah, and there, there is a, a product of shards that, that is in, uh, injection molded, though. Okay. They're, they're less expensive, like bags of 100 or bags of 25. Okay. So somebody who's looking for maybe a more affordable, because I mean, you know, in talking with the other photographers and many people would agree, like well worth every dollar spent on, on the good quality cubes. But if somebody's on a budget looking for a little something less that you have, uh, you have those products as well. Or for background maybe, you know, or something yes. that's not the hero. Uh, we have a pro <clears throat> excuse me, a product for foam also. Oh, that, that uh, enhances the foam of, uh, of beer or, or soft drinks. That extends the life of the foam. Really? How long? Uh, good question. I, I, I know a special effects person that had it going for about an hour. <laughs> he, had to do, he had to do a, 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 a film shoot, a, a, a commercial, and he had to have like 100 glasses going at one time. Oh, my gosh. I, I, huh? <laughs> It's crazy. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not actually kind of amazed that he, that he could do it, but <laughs> he's, a, he's a pro. He's Awesome. So we can find that on the set shop then as well if we're going to search for yeah, those foam products? Booster it's called Foam Booster. So thank you so much to Tom for taking the time out to talk about the products. If you want to check them out, check out the set shop. It's all linked down below. You can go peruse all of the beautiful ice products, uh, pick some up for yourself. But thank you too so much to Terry Campbell and Stuart Anderson for also being a part of the series. And thank you to you for watching because this was like three whole videos. If you watch the whole series, I'm, I'm going to give you a little special kudos. <laughs> but with that, I hope you create some beautiful drinks photography. You stay out of trouble. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye!